state-of-the-art brain-computer interfaces require extensive involvement of researchers and complicated training environments. During training sessions, the BCI user is instructed to perform tasks. Neural features are extracted from brain signals and used with a control decoder to control effectors. In parallel to this control loop, the decoder of the BCI is trained. Labels are provided by the experimental setup and combined with the neural features and an online training algorithm to train the control decoder in real time. In this work, we propose a BCI paradigm that can train or update its decoder during self-directed use. The training paradigm is replaced by an auto-adaptive module that is integrated to the BCI system. The control loop of this BCI system is similar to the previous one. The auto-adaptive BCI takes advantage of the feedback generated by the effector movements to detect correlates of task performances in the neural features extracted from the sensory motor cortex. This continuous monitoring of task performance is used to extract labels from previous outputs of the control decoder. Continuous monitoring is different from time-locked task performance monitoring, such as error-related potentials, as it can be used for the training and adaptation of complex motor BCIs during self-directed use. The auto-adaptive BCI was tested in online simulations using ECOG datasets collected in two series of experiments. In the first series of experiment, the user controlled the active state of a virtual exoskeleton with four possible movement states. In a second series of experiments, the user controlled a cursor in a two-dimensional center-out task with eight possible targets. We first verified how good the auto-adaptive BCI was to estimate labels. In the first experiment, the accuracy of labels predicted by the auto-adaptive BCI was far above trends level. In the second experiment, the direction of the estimated labels was most often less than 60 degrees away from the actual labels. We finally evaluated how good were control decoders that were trained from scratch using the auto-adaptive BCI paradigm. For both series of experiments, the auto-adaptive BCI training provided controlled performances far above trends level and not far from supervised training. The results of this proof of concept show the capabilities of the auto-adaptive BCI paradigm and are promising for the training of complex PCIs during self-directed use.